want. What? Ladies and gentlemen, go, go for a wild, wild ride with the Watusi cats. But beware, the sweetest kittens have the sharpest claws. For your own safety, see faster pussy cats. Kill, kill. Wild women, wild wheels. Race the fastest pussy cats and they'll beat you to death. Superwoman, belted, buckled, and booted. <laughs> yourself on this kid and hanging it up for nothing. For nothing? She's got nothing to do with the money. She is the money. Jack and Jill, they make the mafia look like brownies. <laughs> hey, he's a big one, ain't he? <laughs> got mustard all the way to his ears. Yeah. Ten percent of your action be enough for anyone. Too much for one man to handle. And again, you never can tell. You girls a bunch of nudists or you just, uh, short of clothes? Right now, you're first on my list. And I always try to be tough. You've only got one channel. And your channel's busy tuning in outside. You really should be AM and FM. So who do I get to take care of? The muscle man? You got two of everything. And some left over. You did want. You wanted big. Right. Or thigh, darling. Why don't you take one of each, son? They uh, both look tender. He's got a big motor to feed. But did you eat this? My motor never runs out, baby. Oh, hey! Oh, big now! That's right! You were too the last time. All right, here's how it works. Everybody's got to go. You name it, we've got it. Faster pussy cat kills, delivers tons more than the opposition. Unladylike karate chops, ungentlemanly haymakers, spirited gymnastics, corrective table etiquette, sandbox jousting, or a muscle-bound cat wrestling with a roaring sports car that's intent upon squashing him like a grape. Bizarre kidney and chassis rattling chases. And for the first time on the screen, a haymaking, belly busting, karate chopping, judo flipping fight to end them all. Superwoman against man. The prize, life itself. Slashing, tackling, gouging, hacking, flipping, belting, smashing, and blasting. Muscle to muscle, bone to bone. For an incredible evening's entertainment, a film so totally satisfying, see Russ Meyer's faster pussy cat. Kill, kill. Russ Meyer's Black Snake. The time. 1835, the island San Cristobal, the evil Blackmoor Plantation. Black Snake, the whip, Lady Susan, the enforcer. No man, black or white, escaped her island or her lash. Black Snake, dashing Ronald Sopwith, trapped in a volcano of terror in his search for Brother Jonathan. Black Snake, the brutal whip-wielding joxer, and the sadistic Captain Raymond, commander of Lady Susan's personal army for hire. Black Snake, father against son. See the cruel hand of hypocrisy twist and turn two lives. Black Snake, the faithful Cleone, the beautiful slave maiden, burdened with the impossible decision, the love for her brothers or that for the handsome stranger. Black Snake, Boisterous action from opening scene to mind-bending climax. Russ Myers, Black Snake. Welcome to sex. You have just witnessed some scenes from Russ Meyer's sadistically sensual motion picture, Mud Honey, a taste of evil, heralding the return of incredibly voluptuous Lorna Maitland to the motion picture screen. <laughs> Two bits? Two bits? 
Sidney's such a good customer. Why, I give him the look for free. Mud honey, savor a slice of raw life that runs deep with the flavor of evil. Wrestling and carrying on is what they's doing. Never realized before, but you got almost as much as your sister. Your whole town knows you and shine laughter like a old hound dog in rut season. Like the good book says, love one another. Oh, I'm for that, Brother Hanson. But anything else is one dollar cash money, Mr. Brinshaw. Well, now you take that caliph. And the way he's been playing up to my hand. Adultery! Go on home to that wife of yours for a change. Don't know why you come around here buying it anyway. You got more at home than a man can handle. <laughs> Maybe that's why. Maybe he can't handle it. Go on, Brother Acid. Take her in the other room and give her some salvation. I can pray for her right here. Honey, man, there's only one kind of suit that's right for swimming. And that's your <laughs> Mud Honey presents to the screen four of the world's most voluptuous women. Bosomy Lorna Maitlin, undulating and vivacious. Statuesque Raina Horton, primitive and predatory. Dusky Lee Ballard, earthy and wanton. Antoinette Christiani, basic and unfulfilled. All caught in the merciless coils of primitive passion and raw emotion. <laughs> Mud Honey can influence your very life. A rewarding experience that you shall never forget. It's rival humor. It's graphic revelation of love, lust, passion, and sadistic violence surpasses unquestionably any depiction heretofore presented to the motion picture screen. For a taste of evil, see Mud Honey. Russ Myers Vixen. The story of a girl who loves the joy of being alive and gives herself innocently to the merry chase of life. But like any other game, life has its rules, and if we trespass beyond them, the game can become deadly. There is no stronger bond than the friendship between two men. Judd and Niles shared such a bond, a brotherly tie blind to color. And yet in a moment of violent passion, one led the other to the edge of destruction. Both pushed by Vixen. Her frustration nurtured by an empty lack of understanding. A need she sought to fill in the arms of another woman. For to Vixen, the giving of love is an act of nature. Her only weakness, a cancerous evil she was taught. That human beings are to be classified by the color of their skin. An inner sickness that will come close to destroying not only her, but those around her. It will bring them to a moment of truth in an empty sky with a black man a fulcrum in the deadly teeterboard of life. The hatred inside Vixen fired by yet another hate, the sinister preachings of the communist puppet. Vixen, an adult motion picture experience that is rated X. The management of this theater urges you to see Russ Meyer's Vixen. Producers of the immoral Mr. T's, Eve and the Handyman in Erotica, all renowned films in their own right, have asked me to call your attention to the latest production, The Immoral West. Good buddies, it is the rootinest, shootinest, gal ridinest film you ever will see, or ever hope to see for that matter. Here at last is something nude under the sun. A word of caution, however, it may be a little too shocking for prudes, blue noses, and do gooders. But I know that it will delight you and your broad-minded friends. Cousins, the Amaro West dares to strip bare and poke full of holes all those old tired and worn-out cliches that are laid on your tired peepers each night by the idiot box in your parlor. Now you can learn, good buddies, for the first time why these sin-laden towns of the old West <laughs> went to pot. The Immoral West is a must-see film for unashamed, fun-loving, and, <laughs> I repeat, fun-loving adult men and women 
who aren't too proud to have a good time. Don't tarry, don't delay, cousins. The Amaro West will do more for you than an eight-course meal and a case full of corn squeezings. It's refreshing as an Arctic breeze in the Sahara Desert. For a switcheroo, see how our hero ruined a good thing. <laughs> see the Amaro West. A screamingly funny film augmented with more than enough beautifully endowed women. All types, shapes, and sizes. Not hard to get, cousins. Just friendly. By all means, see the Amoral West and how it was lost. Coming to this theater very soon. Meyer, the rural Fellini, serves up a colossal motion picture geared for the young and old alike, the sophisticate and the blue collar, a motion picture born to entertainment, vibrant, spellbinding, jarring, rocking, gut-wrenching, yet so hilariously funny in its delivery. Russ Meyer's Super Vixens, an all-out assault on today's sexual mores and more, a frontal attack against women's lib blasting through the male machismo syndrome, kicking the crap out of conventions, hang-ups, convictions, obsessions, the whole bag. Cops, robbers, sexually aggressive females, rednecks, sick men of war, unfaithful wives, impotence, bedroom prowess, the 32-second orgasm, cuckolding, the wrist bazooka, momism, breast fixation versus fellatio, racing cars, self-abuse, even death and reincarnation. Russ Meyer's Super Vixens, a cinematic smorgasbord of mind-boggling beauty. Six of the most bountiful women in the world, yeah, six. Incredible broads served up from the lusty table of Russ Meyer. Russ Meyer Super Vixens, feast on it. You know you're in the right theater soon as you cover your seat. Why? I should know. I'm Russ Meyer, back doing what I do best. You'll hate yourself if you miss this movie. Oh, I'll see it. I'll see it. Les Myers, Beneath the Valley of the Ultra Vixens. Movie maker Russ Meyer, the rural Fellini, serves up a simple homey tale of Olympian togetherness, faith healing, bra busting humor, jogging, and hulking Herculean masculinity. Beneath the Valley of the Ultra Vixens, a motion picture born to entertainment, vibrant, spellbinding, and so hilariously funny. Beneath the Valley of the Ultra Vixens, an all out assault on today's sexual mores and more. An end around attack against women's lib, blasting through the male machissimo syndrome, kicking the crap out of convictions, hang ups, obsessions, the whole bag. Sexually aggressive females, willing, klutzy men, petroleum jelly, gingham and gossamer, tax sheltered religion, black socks, bedroom prowess, bunko artists, big breast fixations, rear window rednecks, therapeutic cuckolding. The 60-mile-an-hour zinger, born-again immersion, unfaithful girlfriends, the kangaroo pouch, limp-wristed dentistry, the wheelbarrow, and virile garbage men. Beneath the valley of the Ultra Vixens, a cinematic smorgasbord of mind-boggling beauty. Yeah, gals like Livonia, Flovilla, Junkyard Sal, Eufala, and the very big blonde. Six of the most buxom women in the world. Incredible broad served up from the lusty table of Russ Meyer. Russ Meyer's Beneath the Valley of the Ultra Vixens. Six bountiful chicks in search of a cluck. Grand, glorious, hilariously funny movie entertainment for adults. Strictly. You, you come back. Russ Meyer's Beneath the Valley of the Ultra Vixens. Russ Meyer's Cherry and Harry and Raquel. 
an incisive probe into the very souls of those people involved in the insidious traffic of narcotics. A dusty Arizona border town and vast expanses of sun-baked desert provide the magnificent scenic background for hot cars, blazing guns, and beautiful women. See how the terrible tentacles of marijuana reach out and infest the lives of all those unfortunate enough to come within its grasp. Franklin, an evil genius, masterminding a lucrative operation, running narcotics across the Mexican border. His office, a hospital bed. A man whose body is as sick as his depraved mind. From this white wound, he reaches out and stains other human lives. Harry, a man sworn to uphold the laws of the land. The once proud spirit now corrupted by marijuana. The gun with which he vowed to protect his fellow man turned into a deadly tool of destruction. Cherry and Raquel, sisters of mercy, seeking only to bring aid and comfort to the suffering and the needy. Their beauty as pure as their hearts, as generous as their devotion. Toys of our times, innocent pawns in a deadly game in which the grinning face of death takes a silent hand. Enrique, Mexican-American, his simple needs and humble wants destroyed by the promise of vast profits from the sale of drugs. Profits that take more than they give. Enrique will face an awful moment of repentance, but too late. The Apache, truly of pure blood, but not even he is strong enough to turn away from the greed spawned by marijuana. His vengeance will be terrible. He will destroy every man responsible for making him forget his proud heritage. And the soul girl, who is she? Why does her overpowering presence dance through our story like some elusive butterfly? Is she good? Is she evil? Indeed, does she really exist at all? For as you are propelled through the extraordinary visual experience that is Russ Myers, Cherry, and Harry and Raquel, truth and fiction will blend into one. You will meet people trapped by a power they cannot control, driven by inner demons that move them against their wills. Russ Myers, Cherry, and Harry and Raquel, a motion picture that will take you where you have never been before. The blinding glare of the relentless sun will cast light into the darkest corners of the hearts and minds of these seven people. What will you see there? If you would answer that question, the management of this theater urges you to witness Russ Myers, Cherry, and Harry and Raquel. This motion picture is rated X. How much loving does a normal couple need presents a tantalizing question. Love lies somewhere between the fires of hell and the furrows of paradise. Few will deny that the pleasures of loving far outweighs the sorrows of being unloved, whatever the cost. Efforts to measure love have been attempted in surveys, statistics, and graphs. Now Hollywood filmmaker Russ Meyer endeavors to answer for once and for all the all-important question, how much loving does a normal couple need? In lieu of cold statistics, we offer you Sheila. Knock it off, will you? Any other time at now, it'd be great. Everybody's doing it. If you don't, somebody else will. Go find record and do it. Ah! Sheila, as portrayed by Elena Capri, displays the rich, full flavor of her Roman talents, an insatiable well of delight. This is Bouncy Babette Bardot, a volatile voluptuous from the fertile fields of France, a mamzelle schooled in the gentle art of amour, backed up by the sculptured gifts of nature and a fit protagonist of the man-killer, Sheila. The epidermy of Swedish pulchritude is again bestowed upon the screen in the unblemished form of Adele Rhine as Coral, the personification of innocence lost in the body of a woman. You really came to play, didn't you? I came to win. You'll have to settle for a tie. I'm very easy to get along with. You ought to try me sometime. You made a big mistake, baby. 
If you must show off your body, join a nudist camp. Right, here we go. Right, 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 you call me sick? You've got a few problems yourself, Ace. Oh, oh, you, oh, you, you make me sick! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Three women at the mercy of their insatiable desire for love. Sheila, a Roman candle too hot to hold. Babette, an uncommon common law wife. Coral, an untarnished innocent coveted by three men. One, her father. Who can say how much loving does a normal couple need? Until you, you, and you have seen it. Coming to this theater very soon in fabulous Eastman color.